welcome to another episode of Sailing Rum Punch. You might be wondering what Ben is awkwardly trying to pull, push, move into our unit. Well, stick around as we give you a little life update followed by a huge announcement we've been dying to tell you guys about. For now, make sure to subscribe and let's rewind to take you to yet another shot of Ben awkwardly pushing cases. from the previous episodes that I've taken six months off work to work on the boat and now we have covered some tremendous ground I think the boat is in a really good place it's not as far as I'd like it to be or what I thought it would be when we started in January but here we are unfortunately that time has come to an end and I have had to go back to work luckily I got to bring Ellie with me and we're really fortunate that for this time work has brought us to Paris Okay, so we're not actually in the center of Paris. We're just on the outskirts near Disneyland. So I've got a really cool job doing some scenic construction at Disneyland. The job was supposed to last for six months. However, there has been some visa complications and now that has been shortened dramatically. It means we've just got to do it in my Schengen time. So we're actually gonna be out for two months and then we're gonna be back for a month. Then we're gonna come out for a, another month, essentially. It is what it is. We. Unfortunately, when you're freelancing, this kind of line of work does hit you like that. But we've had the weekends free and we've been getting up some really cool stuff. We've been to places like the Loire Valley, enjoyed some vineyards and castles. Come join us in the Loire Valley for the weekend. Wine caves, that was very cool. Wine? Yeah. They literally told us in the wine caves that in France, wine is a food group. Yeah. Exactly, one of your five a day, I reckon. Yeah. It's been very, very, very hot here. Pretty much the whole summer's been 30 degrees, at least. Um, and this one weekend we went to the Loire Valley, it was raining the entire time. Mm -hmm. But hey, we don't let rain stop us. The best part about it was Ellie said, it's definitely not going to rain. You do not need to bring your waterproof jacket. Luckily, Ellie and I have been together for a very long time and I know that when Ellie says, you definitely don't need to bring a waterproof jacket, it's worth just putting one in anyway. And I was very lucky and I stayed dry. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> We also went to the Champagne region, which was beautiful. Um, we basically went up the Champagne Avenue all day and drank loads of different types of champagne. It was quite bougie, actually. Yeah, we did a lot of champagne. Quite it? bougie. <laughs> Obviously, as well as all these wonderful places around Paris, there's also Paris itself which I've managed to go into during the weeks as well, when Ben's at work, I can go in whenever I want really, it's only about half an hour from here, so it's really easy and it's and we've managed to go there on weekends and stuff and it's just lovely to just walk around. And it, with it being so close as well, Ellie's gone in during the day and I finished work, quickly gone home, got changed and gone into town and met her and had dinner. Because getting to do that is really nice. We used to do that a lot when we lived in London and I think once you when you live in a place for a long time you kind of stop doing that. So it's kind of nice to um, awaken that as well and just take advantage of being in such a cool place. <laughs> So anyway, 
that's us, we're in Paris, we're back to work, now boat stuff. Okay, so we've actually been in Paris now for about two months and the unthinkable has happened. We are approaching the end of our content library. I know. It's a bit crazy. I've been editing our YouTube videos for over two years now and I've never caught up with where we are in the actual process of the boat or our content. So this is quite an unthinkable thing. All that means is now that we just have to drag the episodes out just a little bit longer and put in some just really pointless scenes. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, we will not be doing that. We like our content. We'll only yeah. put out good episodes. It, That's our promise yeah. to you. We usually keep our videos about two months ahead or three months ahead. That way, so when we do go away for work, we can actually have that extra to catch up with. Essentially, nothing's going to change. We're still going to do our absolute very best to put to put videos out every two weeks like we normally do. However, we are not just going to be putting videos out for the sake of doing videos. We do have some episodes lined up, which uh, are going to be really cool. And hopefully by the time they've gone out, we'd have been back at the boat and we would have done some more stuff so we should be able to get all that back again if in the near future we do drop an episode or it's not quite as boaty as you like that's the reason why so that's our little life update for you we'll obviously be back to the boat as soon as we possibly can uh, we have some big plans coming up for the rest of the year and we can't wait to take you with us so now we're going to pick up from where we left off the boat work last episode and see what I've been up to. But please stick around because we have an absolute huge announcement to make after this next clip. Now, Ben, over to you. We're at the point now where we head for Paris in a few days and I'm just tinkering around the boat. There's no point starting any new project at this stage. Um, we're gonna be away for at least a month before we get to come back to the boat for a weekend just to do some little bits. <laughs> As you've probably realized, that didn't quite pan out the way we thought. What I'm focusing on now is, even though I'm not gonna be starting new jobs, there's loads of jobs that I've started and not finished. So I'm gonna spend the next few days just going around and doing that. And for reasons that I've just got distracted and moved on or haven't had the right tools or equipment to carry on with those jobs, but now's the time. First thing on my list is on the starboard side around the knees and the chain plate where I cut away some fiberglass from the underside of the deck. I'm gonna replace that and rebed that now. I'm gonna cut out a little bit of cardboard uh, so I can get a little template for that shape. And then I'm gonna cut the fiberglass sheet that I made and pop that in place. First of all, I'm just gonna epoxy that in. I'll do that today. And then I'll come and sand that all down and glass over it as well, just so it's super strong. I've got that over that side and I've also got one of those to do in the galley, which I'll hopefully get to as well before I go away. Um, I've just done some painting as well so I've got some primer down on the engine bay uh, where the engine will sit or the motor will sit and that's going to need some bilge paint after so once that primer has dried I can go ahead and paint that white as well. In the process of fiberglassing yesterday I have managed to get quite a lot of epoxy a horrible sticky mess over the paint that I've got already in the engine bay all the hard work that Ellie did I've kind of undone with lots of grime. Um, and I've got this really horrible, cheap blue roll that when I put acetone on it, all the blue just bleeds from it. So I've got a nice big stained blue swipe on there as well. So that's on me for going cheap, but that's what it is. Uh, I know that now it hopefully should just sponge off, but not a major problem for now. I'll just paint over it if I have to. But let's get on with this fiberglass sheet and hopefully I can get that in time before dark because I've got my bike but I don't have my lights so that's important to finish. Right, let's crack on. I tried going with the sheet of plastic and putting that in place, um, but it just didn't work. There's no way. I couldn't think of a way to get it to stick. It just seems like an awful lot of work. So back to the drawing board, I'm just gonna lay some laminate straight onto the underside of the hole. I'm just gonna go straight in there, 
put loads in, sand it down, and then hopefully that'll look good too. So I think that's the easier option. It's gonna look a lot better and it's definitely going to work. So let's go with that. bit of fiberglass work that is. Thanks mate. Yeah, that was horrible, that's not going. <laughs> okay, so I've just had the batteries delivered and I knew it was coming on a pallet truck, um, but they've only been able to drop it off just outside the unit and the pallet truck couldn't bring in here because the forks go in the side and it was a huge pallet truck, which I wasn't really anticipating. So I was completely unprepared for this delivery. So now I've got a quarter of a ton of battery sitting outside the unit that I need to get inside the unit and I have zero tools and there's zero around the site that I'm on either. So I'm a little bit screwed, but I'm gonna try my best and figure out how we're going to get these batteries just inside for the time being. It doesn't have to be pretty, just need to be inside. So it's time to get creative. You may be wondering why I'm lugging in a quarter of a ton of batteries. That's an awful lot of batteries. And the reason goes all the way back to when we first pulled the boat out of the water. One of the first things we did when the boat came out of the water was we took the engine out. On our sail back from Portland, we had some horrible engine trouble. Um, it cut out, we had an oil leak, and once we lifted it out, we saw what terrible condition it was in. Easy. Put the wheel board though. It did say it was overloaded, but I'm okay. They're okay. Well, they're in. It wasn't easy. It wasn't pretty. I've scuffed up the carpet no end, but they're in. That was extremely hard work, but just a little bit of little bit of thinking, and we've got them in. We explored all the options available to us, and after two years of research and basically figuring out what we want to do with it. We've decided to go electric. 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 We're going to put an electric motor in. We've been working with a guy who's fairly local to us. He's just an hour up the road. He approached us um, last year. and We've been chatting about things and we are convinced it's the right way for us. I know all the controversies surrounding electric motors and the dangers and everything. It is going to change our plans of where we want to go and what we want to do and we know that we're just going to have to change the way we think about how we sail and everything like that. This has not been a impulsive decision, this has been very long and well thought out and although it's going to be an incredible learning curve for us and, and a scary decision to make, we just know that it's right for us. There are many reasons why we have decided to make this decision and we will be discussing this in future episodes to come. If you're thinking about writing a comment about how stupid we are, I'd say just just don't. Just leave it. Let's go. Let's go through this together. We want to detail this from start to finish and we'll be truthful about the things that are easy and that are extra hard and we won't ever put ourselves at risk or in danger. We just think that this is the way that sailing's going and it's just a really good way for us to kind of document how we think it's going and what needs to change. There are a couple of channels that are also out there doing it. What's one more, I say? And like everyone says, the engine is auxiliary. Exactly. We've got sails. It's a freaking sailboat, kids. But yeah, but we, we, I hope you find it as exciting as we have and we're really pleased to finally be able to share this with you. That's all for now. Thank you for watching our episode and bearing with us while we do our awkward sofa shots. Most of you that watch haven't subscribed yet, so please do hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. And now we've got a whole new direction we're going. I really hope you enjoy it. Please like and comment like you always do, and we can't wait to hear from you. Bye.